depending upon context, 20 years can be a long period of time or a short period of time. So bear with me if you would, and what I'm going to do is take us back to 1990 and talk a little bit about some of the events that occurred in the course of that year. Smoking on domestic flights was finally prohibited <laughs> 20 years ago. Margaret Thatcher resigned as uh, Britain's prime minister. Spotted owl became an endangered species. Nelson Mandela was uh, delivered from prison. Slade Gordon and Brock Adams were our senators' voices in Washington, D.C. Norm Rice was our mayor. The I-90 bridge sank. <laughs> Goodwill Games came to Seattle. Grunge was the most popular brand of music. But they were decisions, difficult decisions, that had to be made. And they were made under the tutelage of Ruth Ann. Let me talk a little bit about financial development. My understanding is that if you spoke to the vast majority of staff today and you asked them what the phrase, no margin, no mission, means, they would know that. Well, trust me when I say to you that there was a period of time when there was maybe a handful of people who understood what margin was. And this organization was in need of a major overhaul in order to become better financially managed. How that occurred is an insight into both Ruth Ann's character and into her leadership style. Because the first person who got educated in terms of understanding what financial statements said was Ruth Ann. A lot of self-study. A lot of self-study. She also had the insight to understand that even though she was better schooled, she still did not have a sufficient amount of information, a sufficient amount of knowledge, excuse me, to be able to do what needed to be done. So in the face of a very demanding budget, in the face of a very demanding financial environment, a courageous decision was made to hire investment professionals. And it began with one and expanded from there, and it expanded the size of the senior staff. And one of the reasons that today, in this difficult economic environment, family services continues to prosper is because of that financial management that Ruthann undertook. So Ruthann will be lecturing on balance sheets and betting costs and directly after. <laughs> So there's a lot of positive adjectives that I could apply to Ruth Ann for which she is certainly deserving. But in the interest of time, what I've tried to do is to choose one that is encompassing. And that is this. Ruth Ann, you're a leader. Congratulations. <laughs>
here's what I'm supposed to say right now. Ruthanne, uh, we love you. Thank you for all of your hard work. Thank you. Yes. I have a few words. It's a surprise, I know. I did not know you were doing all of this today. Thank you very much. But what I guess I wanted to say very briefly is the reason all of those things that Bob Gruber... Oh, you guys are really good. <laughs> The reason that all of those things were available for Bob to talk about is you saw a lot of it up here. It's our board, our board chairs. I have been blessed with the leadership on our board. And the other thing is I can look around the room and look at a lot of our staff. So I guess I never thought of it as um, courageous. I thought it was sort of like stupid not to hire the smartest people ever who are really good at what they do and surround yourself with that and let them do their job and help move the agency forward. So I feel like in 20 years, um, I have been so blessed to have the board, board chairs I've needed, the boards we've needed, and the staff that I get to work with. And I have appreciated my colleagues, my friends, and my family. So really, um, the 20 years that they're talking about belongs to all of you. So thank you so much for making my job fun almost every day, and a joy to get to do, and a privilege. I'm humble. Thank you. Thank you.